Hello everyone, it's good to be back. I am Salmon's 100 playing Super Mario Sunshine. And here's a little something I want to show. You can look at your score before you start a game to see what all you've gotten. As you can see, nothing much at Peanut Park. Man, we almost got Bianco Hills done. Just gotta get some of the secret shines there and man, that's about it. Man, I got the sniffles. Anyway, we really need to go to Peanut Park. I'm saying this because I did not know they actually have to do Peanut Park to progress the storyline. Wouldn't you know it. The only place I haven't been going to. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense since it's the newest place we've unlocked besides Snoky Bay. Anyway, let's get over here at the very beginning. Get it over with now. Man. Mm, so this morning I went to see the Avengers movie and it was really good. It makes me want to go see Thor because I never actually saw that one. I s I've seen the Hulk and they actually have a different voice actor for the Hulk this time. I don't know why, but he's pretty good as the Hulk. I'm just saying. He's amazing. But yeah, I'd really like to see Thor because the main enemy, not to be a spoiler. Okay, if you haven't watched the Avengers yet and you don't want to be spoiled, don't listen to this. But the main enemy is Loki, and that's actually Thor's brother, so that I was not expecting. Like, for them to actually put in the Polar God mythology for that. But it's just a little interesting tidbit of information. And yeah, Odin's their father and everything, because he's the father, father of Asgard and everything. But yeah, nice. So, this, this guy again, we just have to... What? I, I thought I'm him for... Okay, one more time then, right? Yep, yeah. Wait, no, he still has life. What? What the heck? I he should be dead by now. I guess the other few haven't, haven't been hitting him and just uh, tank instead. Anyway, oh god, get that out. Get that out of my hands. Okay, now it's just getting cluttered. There we go. One, nice and simple. Get back in. There we go. There we go. It's dead now. Anyway, this will unlock another secret area for us to go to. Yay! And I've been taking damage. Yay. Let's see if we can get them there stylish. Aw, oh, almost. Almost. So yeah, The Avengers is a pretty good movie. I really want to go see Thor now. Gotta rent it or something. Oh well. So the main gimmick about this secret area is disappearing platforms. Yay, we all love those, don't we? Yeah, it's not too hard. Well, well, maybe for me it is. Okay, oh, okay, hold on. There we go. But I think, personally, the hardest part of this level is these trampolines, because aerial movement is pretty hard. Maybe I can get on my first try? Oh, 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 wow. That went out quicker than I thought it would. Anyway, just wait for these to come back. Just chilling. There we go. Start sliding across it. Is that your fastest form of movement? Uh, don't go for that one up. I don't, I don't uh, recommend it since you're trying to get across these as fast as possible. So let's go. Sometimes I like over predict when it's gonna appear so I just end up killing myself and, oh well first try 43 right there how you like them apples oh god I have to stop sniffing anyway let's just continue for now yeah still gonna point us there yeah we still have two more missions to go and let until unlocking the next part of the game anyway right on in and yeah so today's May the 6th 7th if you want to get technical and uh, you know what don't you just hate it when people ask you what day Cinco de Mayo is on because it literally means 5th of May I mean come on you gotta think Cinco met is fifth. Day of Mayo May, of course. Wait, is this the one I'm thinking of? Oh my, it is. Oh, just bubbly. Anyway, 
in one of these there should be a blue coin. So I guess I'll go ahead and get that. There it is. Yeah. Nice. Might as well get that out of the way now. You know while we're at it? It's M right here. Get that out of the way before I have to start looking for them everywhere. And then they're oh crap, I should have gotten a blue coin that I didn't get. Oh. New enemies. The way you kill these guys is pretty much get them wet while they're they don't have their shell on, and that'll take care of them. Anyway, let's see where this will appear. Maybe I can get it. Here we go. Oh goodness, that's quite a far away far ways. Let's go! Oh, I kinda didn't want to get in the water. I don't think we're gonna make that. Oh, we did. Alright, I'll take it. Now let's go the other way. There we go. Yeah, notice how that tree's shaped like a piano. That's cool. Right up here. Okay, I don't think we're gonna make it now. Not after that fail. Yeah, we still got a chance. Right? No, we don't. Okay, we're definitely not making this. Yeah, it's already gone. Not even close. Oh well. I'll worry about that later. Right now, let's just finish the mission. Yeah, it's a red coin mission. Wouldn't you know. The physics on these ships aren't particularly spot on either. Yeah, there's a blue coin right here. Oh! Yeah. That's cool. Anyway, get that. Hopefully I can stay on it. There we go. Whoa! Don't fall. Yeah, sometimes the boats will go all the way over like that, and then you're like, oh my god. What do now? Anyway, I'm in a pretty good position to get to the next part of the level, but... Kind of need to get all the red coins on the boats first. Hmm. Okay, I'll jump on it when it comes to my... They're not... Okay, I was about to say, they're not about to go all the way over again, are they? They probably are now. Yeah, I thought it was much. At least I got the red coin on the way down. So, now all you have to do is get the ones that are on the rails, and that's about it. So, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Anyway, let's get right on up here. At least I think that's all the ones we need. There shouldn't be a one, like, right there. No. There's one right there. Okay, let's see if I can get it and the blue coin up here. Oh, I already got it. Okay, press A to hit upwards. Wow. So many blue coins in such a short time. Who would have known? Who would have thunk it? Anyway, the way to kill these things is to ground pound on them. Get electrified on them while you're on bite while you're on their side, then I'm pretty sure you're gonna fall, so don't want that happening. Pretty far away up here. Anyway. Pick up into here. Backflip. Oh, uh, backflip. Okay, apparently it doesn't want you doing it that way. Kick off of that, go like that. Now I'm pretty sure you wanna go under first because there's monsters on the top. Yeah, that's all these off. Yep, one more to go, and that one is at the very top, so shouldn't have a problem. Let's go back down. Mm, see that Ferris wheel up there? I'm hoping I remember the trick to that, getting up there without having to do the legit way. In fact, you know what? I'm just I'm gonna do legit way, just for doing it, because I think it's a very interesting part of the game where they show a whole bunch of mechanics. It's pretty cool too. Anyway, that's our last red coin, and there's our shine sprite. One of the more tedious missions done with, without too much problems, so let's get it and get out. Shine get. Yes, indeed. Continue. Oh, we're not even up to ten minutes yet. I guess I'll go for another shine sprite. Why not? In fact, this shine sprite should be the one that's unlocking the next cutscene, so yay us. Yay us. That's right, get out of there. So we can go right back on in. Kaboom! Yeah, see you later. 
Anyway, the wilted sunflowers. Oh yeah. I guess it would make sense for him to come on this level. Yeah. Yeah. You can probably guess what's gonna happen already, can't you? Yeah. Okay, that was a suck roll. Here we go. Anyway, of course, it's the egg of our beloved friend. What the heck is that? Yeah. Probably got you going. But no, these are not what you're thinking of. These are not the droids you're looking for. They're these monsters that you have to kill. And every time you kill them... Ugh, that sounded so weird. Ugh, you don't even know how I... You don't even want to know how I interpreted that. Anyway, yeah, just keep killing these guys. They'll get harder to kill every single time. Although, how they can get much harder to kill, I don't... I don't know. Don't even ask. I mean, they're pretty easy. Just jump on them and ground town. And even more flowers. And another flower comes up. I bet you would. Yeah. So this isn't repetitive at all, of course, right? Yeah. Come at me, bro. Just like that. Yeah, the way they get harder is they supposedly just they come out of the sand faster. That's another thing. Make sure they ground they come down on you in the sand. So because they won't get stuck in the grass, even though they are underground in the grass right now. Don't ask me how. Anyway. I wonder if he'll just outright pound me. Yeah, he will. Yeah, they don't have to be perfectly in the sand, so... Don't worry too much about that. Pokey. i kill you, Pokey. i kill you! I bet you would. i kill you. Spray it with water. Ah, killed ya. Anyway, the last one's right here, in, in front of the big one. I don't think you have to do it in this order, it doesn't really matter. Is it me, or does he look a little bit bigger than the others? Yeah, this one will get out pretty fast, so ground pound him right when he gets in. Anyway, that's all of them. Yep. There's the last one of them. And she'll give us a shine sprite for our troubles. How nice. Anyway, let's talk to her. See what she has to say. Okay, we can talk to her. That's that's cool too. That's cool too. Just get the shine sprite. Shine get. Yes, indeedy. That is essentially 49 stars, so, or not stars, but shine sprites. I'm thinking of Super Mario 64 here. And here's our next part of the story. Yeah, see that huge pineapple? You can probably guess what's going to happen here. Anyway, let's go chase his nasty ass down. Let's get, oh, don't fall there. Don't trip. Silly. Yeah, Deb's alert. The mysterious mustachioed man has been seen running about town holding an egg-like object the mustache man is also the primary suspect in the recent kidnapping of princess peach of the mushroom kingdom yeah that's cool that's good to know we kind of knew that already though so, yeah, not a very hard chase, if you ask me. You can get him out in the first few seconds, and yeah, not hard at all. Darn, now it's just about to ride that Yoshi, too. That's right, we have a Yoshi, and wouldn't you know it, conveniently a banana right next to it. So just bring it the fruit at once, and get on your Yoshi. That's right, we got a Yoshi. I'm on a Yoshi. I'm on a Yoshi. Everybody look at me, because I'm sitting on a Yoshi. Yeah. Anyway, what you're supposed to do with Yoshi initially is, oh my god, will you do it, Yoshi, please? There we go. Get on up here and eat the huge pineapple. Yeah, not even an announcement here. Anyway, jump right on in, and here's your next world, Serena Beach. And we're about to go against arguably the hardest boss in the game, Manta Storm. 
Yeah, you may have seen a co-op of this game before by these two guys. I forget who there are, but who they are. But uh, after actually, the guy who hosted it was attacking two fans. Go check that out if you haven't. And man, they had fun on this. They actually named their project of doing a co-op on it uh, after this boss fight. It was called the Manta Project or something. Anyway, talk to this guy up here. Oh, please tell me my nightmare is over. You could save me. I don't know why, but you just look very capable to me. Listen, it all started around noon. This giant manta-shaped thing showed up. It was this paper-thin, floating silhouette. It came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Yeah, we figured that out. Then, oh, the horror. My beautiful hotel, my poor building. It sank into the middle of that awful ooze. Why me? Why? Now I've got the staff cleaned it up. But where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back and... Oh, I hear a It's coming. Yeah, I didn't get to read the rest of that. My bad. Anyway. Yeah. We gotta go against this thing. But how could you possibly hurt it, you ask? Well, simple enough. Just squirt it. In fact, I'm gonna just hover above it. This will do it too. It's a bit risky. Yeah. Like I said, it's a bit risky. But yeah. And then there's an easy trick to getting it done faster after you split them up a couple of times. Anyway, there's a couple of fountains to refill just in case you need to, and I do believe there's a few barrels full of water somewhere. Although where they are, I can't remember. And eh, we'll just take care of them. The normal way. There. Okay, whoops. Yeah, they'll send you flying if you land on them. So, I would suggest not doing that. And, oh my god, he's as fast as me already. Let's get up here. Where's the other huge one? Huge man array. Oh, here it is. Break him apart. Like I said, really risky. Getting hit quite a few times, I shouldn't be getting hit. So, let's go get a few coins on the tree. Another trick to this fight is you can get on the tree and they won't, well most of the time they won't hit you. And you can just spray them from up here. Well it's not foolproof though. And it's quite a bit slower actually. So I wouldn't recommend it. Just take them out the normal way. And where'd they go? Are they on the beach? Yeah I see one of them over there. Yeah I just start spraying them. And eventually they'll start becoming quite numerous. Yeah. And they'll start comboing you, apparently. Wow, you just got comboed. Oh goodness, that was close. They're dividing into smaller units. Yeah, I think we noticed. Anyway, being the water I don't think saves you from being hit. Because they can still touch you. You can't get electrified, but they can touch you. Yeah, they're coming apart right now, really fast, so pretty much a drop of water is all that will do them in. Ugh, oh, but this isn't even half the battle yet, let me tell ya. Yeah, you can just stand under those huts for the safe haven, I guess. If you really need it. I mean, it's not that hard of a boss, to be completely honest with you. And oh my god, they've covered this place. Yeah, once they get a bit numerous, you just start spinning and spraying, and that'll take care of a few of them. Not for that long. And the, yeah, you can't really take big ones apart like that because it takes a bit more squirting. And how's their goop in the water? I wonder if you'd get electrified by that. I can only imagine. Oh, oh, oh! You thought you had me there. Nope. Just testa. Oh goodness. Yeah, I can tell. They're starting to get quite numerous. Um, but where are they? Oh, there's one. Whoa, big one. Okay, now they're all after you. Yeah, once you get like three quarters of the way into the fight, they'll all start coming, becoming purple and going after you, though I can't seem to see them. Oh, they're here though. They're definitely here. They're always here. Oh god, they're all over the place. You can just barely see them, too. Oh goodness. Yeah, they're still... They still have the... The punch of a 
normal huge ones, so be careful. And oh my god, they're just everywhere. I am taking hits like no other. Start spinning. God, they're going down like, oh my god, no other. Yeah, just spray away a path. Should be fine. Yeah, Hover Nozzling really becomes useful here because they're gonna die at the first touch of water at this point. So, they're not, they don't have the potential to revenge kill you or something once you get out of your hover. So, yeah. And here they all are. Kill off the rest of them. That sounds so mean. Like, they're just babies. They we're just killing them all. They sound like babies, they still don't, sure don't punch like babies. Good god, they're comboing me. Get out of the electric goop. It's not supposed to go in an angle. Oh goodness. Alright. Oh, I thought I could have pulled off a spin there, but I guess not. Yeah, sometimes when you spray the goop, it'll give you a free coin just in case you need it. Yeah, and we're getting quite low in life, so I think I'll go refill here again. Three, four. Where are they all? Yeah, here they are. Oh god, come on, that was barely any goop. You gotta give me that one. Ah, yeah, coin for it. Oh goodness. Yeah, there's only gotta be a few by this at this point, right? Oh wow, I'm already at 20 minutes. Yeah, this will be a long video. Is this the last one? No. That's the last one. So yeah, once you kill them all, you'll hear this weird noise. And the hotel will come back. That took a little longer than I anticipated. Well, I think after this giant sprite, I'm going to have to end it off. Yeah. Anyway, there it is. That's all ours. And I think if you spray that pedestal, you're supposed to get a blue coin, maybe? Eh, yeah, maybe not. Anyway, let's just collect it. No blue coins here. Shine yet. So that's about it for this episode. Join me next time when we continue on with Serena Beach. See you then. Oh my god, this. Ugh, see ya. See ya later.